Hey guys, it's Danielle. Um, so the kids are asleep, so I'm being kind of whispery. I was gonna do part two of the doll dying video in the kitchen, but I mean, the light's even worse at night in there. So, um, and I don't want to be too loud and wake the kids. So, here's what I did. Um, I put it out on Instagram and Facebook and asked, you know, how about like dark brown or black? And it was pretty much neck and neck last time I checked. So, what I did was a really saturated uh, brown mixture, which had the rest of that pack. I only used about a sixth of it, plus another pack. Um, and I don't know if that's a good idea or a bad idea, if it'll leave more residue or what. I mean, I'm still seeing the same kind of striping on certain areas, and I wonder if it's just maybe how the doll is sanded and polished before it um, comes to you, you know? Maybe, maybe that's why. So I'm hoping it'll get to a uniform color. And if, um, if that doesn't happen, if I, right now it's just soaking, I took it off the fire and just let it rest and let them sit in there and I'm going to run upstairs and, um, you know, stir it around. Um, but if that doesn't work, I was thinking, you know, like those, like, I don't know, medieval baths or something where a person's laying in the bath, but they're like laying on a cloth. You know, it's in the bath. I don't know, do they do that to keep the water clean so they can reuse it? It's pretty gross. But what if I did that so that the parts didn't touch the bottom and they could just sit and have a soak now that the color is all in there and I don't have to stir and stir and stir? Um, so I'm going to rinse this lot and then maybe I'll take some pictures and then um, put it back in with the cloth sitting inside. Um, and we'll see how that goes. That's a risk. But might as well try something new. Because uh, it was not looking good at all. Uh, and if that doesn't work, then I'll go to black and hopefully that'll cover everything. So wish me luck and I'll see you soon. Okay, you guys, the color is looking pretty amazing. Mm, I still see a little white stripe. You see that? I don't know what is going on with you, but I pulled out the head. Sorry. Um, this is hard to do with one hand. Just stay there. Ooh, ouch. I'm polka dotted. Isn't that a nice color? Looks really good, but I want to see if we can get darker. Oh, wow. She's really beautiful. Shoot. Kind of don't want to make you ugly now. Um, okay. I'll be back with another, another episode. Good color though. But see why, like on the sides, it's the side of the neck, the side of the torso. Anyway, let me go and um, magic eraser those sides a little bit and then maybe we can get something a little more even. All right, I'll be back. Okay, so um, I just checked on it again and. Um, it got a lot darker and it looks really good. Um, there are still some weird spots, um, like the belly is still really uh, pale. Um, but otherwise, the color's looking good. So I heated everything. I didn't do the cloth thing. It just seemed like a lot of work for, for nothing. Um, what I did was I brought the temperature up again because it started to cool and I noticed the results weren't changing. So I heated up the water again and um, to a boil, kept stirring constantly, and then I took it off the fire, stirred a little bit more and covered it and just set it aside, let it soak some more. So I'll go check on it in a few minutes and um, this has been kind of fun. She looks really good. Oh, and then I remember what Sighthound Lady said about um, white strings, white elastic in like a tan doll. Um, so I grabbed her strings real quick and threw them in the water. So she's going to be looking good. Yeah, she looks, she looks really nice. I know I hate to make her a death goddess, but I want her to be involved. I don't want another new backstory. Um, and I think she'll be necessary, you know. Sorry. Because we have a ghost baby and all. Can't really see them out there. Anyway, guys, I know I've just been rambling on videos all, all day. Um, but anyway, so I'll talk to you later. Bye. Hey guys, it's Danielle. 
Okay, you may have seen pictures on Instagram just now, um, but this is what we ended up with, and I'm really, really happy. It looks basically even. She had a smooch, smooch, smooch. I'm not saying this word right. Smooch, smooch? No. Smudge? No, it's not smudge. Schmutz! She had a bit of schmutz on her on her cheek, but we got that off. Uh, I realized that I did not remove the uh, sealant from the ears well enough, but that's okay. Um, she's got some of that weird sort of scratching thing that BJDs do when you rub on them too much. So she just needs a good little buffing, and um, yeah, we're good to go. Her nose looks a little weird, like like I had heard it before I dyed her. Maybe that time she fell over and she chipped her lip, maybe her nose got hurt. But anyway, she's beautiful, and all of those who voted on Facebook and um, Instagram, you both sort of won. It's black, it's dark brown, it's really dark brown, but she's more black in person than she is right here, like closer to black. That's so funny. Because in the pictures, she showed up, I think, a little dark, more black than um, than she appeared. Than she is in real life, I mean. Um, I feel like there was something I was going to say, but I totally forgot. I'm exhausted and I'm ready to go to sleep. So, thank you for joining me on my adventures and doll dying. And I hope you die some dolls too. Um, beware of those lighter colors. But I want to have faith. I feel like this could work. Um... But I don't have a bunch of guinea pigs around. Um, so, uh, look forward to seeing whatever projects you get into. Bye.